Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company, and if you're like me, you probably put some bigger tires on your Forerunner, and as soon as you did, you noticed that there was some rubbing. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. It was super easy, it took me probably less than 15 minutes, and I think this will work for everybody, so check it out. So like I said, um, we just put some new uh, wheels and tires on our Forerunner. I have a video about that. It's the uh, 28570 R17s. So I did put in some uh, 17 inch rims still, but I put the 28570s on there and they are the mud train. Uh, but as soon as we got home, actually as we were leaving the parking lot, I noticed right away that there'd be rubbing. And from everything I read, I kind of expected it. Everybody said it should be a really easy fix. So I decided to go ahead and try it myself. And it was really easy. So let me show you exactly what I did. And um, in case you guys are wondering, these grill lights, these uh, Raptor lights or um, you know pro lights, I'll put a link for those in the description as well on where you can get them. Those were really easy to do too. And I have a video about how I put those in myself as well. So here's a look underneath at the front driver's side. You can see there's a little bit of paint removed. Kind of shows me where the trimming needs to be done. Maybe about an inch or so in and five or six inches in length. A little piece that we're going to trim off there and then we're going to loosen these bolts right here or these nuts and we're going to actually move the wheel well liner forward you can see on the inside it actually is rubbing and it's uh, rather than cutting a hole we're just going to kind of push that forward once we cut that plastic i'll give you a little better look here at the front so if you're standing outside the wheel well we're just going to be trimming this lip right here at the bottom just a little bit off should be easy Then for the back of the front wheel well, we're gonna be probably just removing this whole entire mud flap. Everything I read said that you just removed the mud flap entirely. Looks a little bit better, I think, but should be four bolts and then there's a little clip and it comes right out. I found that turning the wheel well or turning the wheel inside of the well helps you get some clearance and it uses a number 10 socket to get back there. I could not get a screwdriver back there, but another 10 socket will work on most of the bolts around here. So we got that removed very quick and easy. Took a couple minutes. After a little wash, all these marks will be gone, but I put the screws and the bolts back in. That way the fender and the body panel still held on tight. And I even put this plastic clip back in here. I don't know if that's really needed, but it just pops in and out. But because the hole was there and I had the clip, I just put it back in. So then we'll go ahead and move on to the front fender. And like I said, we're just gonna trim away a little bit of this plastic right here with some tin snips. And that's about as much as I needed to remove. I cut back about an inch and a half and about five inches in length, a little piece off there. It is a little bit rough, but I'll come back and clean it up once I know that there is no rubbing. And all I used was some of these tin snips right here. I use these for all kinds of things around the house, so I'd invest in a pair. I'll put a link for them in the description, but there's a lot of different ways you can cut this material. This is just what I had on hand and I knew it would cut through the plastic. And um, it's a little bit rough, but we'll sand it up later. Now you can see that the plastic liner is sticking out and that's why we're gonna loosen these bolts underneath and then we'll be able to actually push it back. After removing the first one, you can see it's still held into place. So there's a second one back here that you have to actually get underneath the truck to remove. That one comes right out. You can see where its uh, stock placement is, and then we're gonna move it back about an inch and a half, maybe an inch and three quarters. I'm just gonna drill a hole through this plastic, about a half inch hole. And with two hands, you can actually push it back and align it and put the bolt back into the body and it will hold it in place. Have that back in place now. It actually pulls the plastic back almost a full two inches. Now there's a lot of clearance and it matches the cut that we made on the body. And then when you put back in this other screw, it actually has a pointed head on it. So when you push it up against the plastic and actually apply some pressure, it'll actually pierce through the plastic and I was able to get it to reach through the plastic and into the threads and it was secure on its own. So there was no drilling required for this one. And then we just repeat those steps on the passenger side. 
This goes a lot faster now that we kind of know what to expect. We're gonna trim off just about the same amount on the passenger side. I can see a little bit of paint rub and a little bit of rub inside of the wheel well. And then underneath there is two bolts again, or two screws. They're just in a slightly different locations. They're a little bit more spaced out, but they're just like the other side. This is how much I removed off the passenger side. It's almost identical to the driver's side. And again, we'll come back and clean up that edge later. This is the difference on the passenger side where the bolt goes in. There's a little bit of a, a seat that it kind of falls into place. So I drilled a hole again about an inch and a half back so that we can push the plastic forward and then we'll push this one through once we have the first one set. And that's it. Everything looks good. Taking on a little test ride. There is no rubbing either side. I did full turns forward and reverse up and down the street in and out of the driveway and there is no rubbing. We are cutting it really close, but again, I didn't want to have to cut up the fenders a lot. There's a lot of different ways to do this. I have links for these LEDs in the description. Don't forget about that. I also have a link about these wheels and tires and the lift that I put on it. But 15 minutes, get rid of all that rubbing. Now it doesn't sound like a machine gun going through the parking lot and you can clean up those edges when you're done. And that's it guys, it's that simple. It took me, like I said, about 15 minutes, just some basic tools. You could probably even cut the plastic with something else like a razor blade or um, just depending on how fast you wanna do it. I've even seen people use some air tools with a little cutoff blade. That's like the quick, real professional way when they're doing a lot of trimming. But my main thing here was just trying to use the tin snips to try to get enough plastic removed to create no rubbing. Then I can go back in and maybe smooth out the edges and clean it up. But I, I just, just got done test driving it full lockout both ways, reverse, forward, both sides, no rubbing. Um, it may depend on how heavy you have your vehicle loaded also, but this is just with me and the family and there was no rubbing at all. So now it doesn't sound like a machine gun going off while we're pulling through the uh, grocery store. Um, everybody always thinks that when we're backing up and it was clicking and rubbing that uh, we were hitting their car or something. So it was funny to see people's heads turn, um, but now it's done. No more noise, no more rubbing. And it was really easy to do. You could definitely do it yourself. If you haven't already, please hit like, hit subscribe. Um, I have a lot of videos on different vehicles and especially this one, the Forerunners, on how to change out air filters, windshield wipers, all the basic maintenance stuff, battery things, um, these uh, LED lights there for you, and also the tire and rims package that we put on it and the lift. So if you're wondering about those things, watch those videos. I'll put some right here at the end for you. You can click on those and watch them. But for now, that's it. And I'll see you guys on the next build.